Right, what Christmas food are we gonna have then? Oh, here's the big list of Chinese food. And I've got to pick, well, I'm not doing all the picking, but I've got to pick what I want and what I think most people will want. And they're gonna add to the list as well, I guess. Good morning. So I am currently experiencing the worst hangover I've had since I was underage drinking I think and I used to binge drink I mean I had a lot of Sambuca shots I had a picture to myself and stuff like I know everyone's gonna laugh at me and be like <laughs> like these these youth they don't know I've drunk that amount of alcohol loads of times before but for some reason I'm really feeling it today I felt like I was gonna vomit earlier which I never do when I get a hangover anymore I used to get like that when I was younger I got the sharp headaches I've got the achy body. I just feel really weak today. And I'm supposed to be going out tomorrow, which is Christmas Eve. For me, it's Christmas Eve. These vlogs are very delayed. So like, I don't, I can't really work out when you guys are gonna like get all this footage. I texted Lorna like, I might keep it easy tomorrow night. And she was like, that's fine. Just come to the pub and then leave and not go out clubbing afterwards, which is such a relief. I thought she was gonna be like, you you little bitch. Cause I've always had really bad acid reflux today. I'm a little bit worried about it. If anyone, if any of you know what the reason of that could be, let me know. But I am banning anyone from saying anything tragic. Like I'm gonna die. One of my like trigger things is health. I can't watch like A&E documentaries or health just, puts me in an anxiety, a place of anxiety. So I'd appreciate some nice comments about that. So today um, I'm seeing Vicky's new flat, which I'm really pumped about. I can't wait, I'm so freaking excited. And I'm also writing the big old list for the Christmas food, because we have Chinese for our Christmas dinner. So we need to write down a big list of things that we want to order, ready for Christmas day. So I've written down our big old list now it took me a little while because it's a lot so this is the typical christmas dinner at the james household sesame prawn toast homemade pancake roll times two spare ribs egg fried rice times three mushroom chow mein chicken chow mein plain chow mein king prawn with cashew nuts sweet and sour chicken balls sweet and sour king prawn balls egg foo young stir fried veg hoisin sauce crispy seaweed lemon chicken shredded beef with chili <gasps> That all sounds so good. This house smells amazing on Christmas day. You guys might think like roast dinner is what your house should smell on Christmas day, but me it's Chinese food. So my mum's put together a little moving in box for Vicky and Scarlett. All the things that remind her of them. Chocolate pillows basically. Pasta and sauce. Some latte instant coffee. Milk, I mean I don't think that reminds mum of, of them, but that's just handy. And bog roll can't have a moving in gift about bog roll. Summer fruits. I personally hate summer fruits, but I think Scarlett and Vicky drink most of ours, usually. <laughs> Tea, sugar, Yorkie bars, because Scarlett drove the um, <laughs> the moving van herself. So my mum joked of her and she's like, I'm gonna have to get you a, a Yorkie bar now because you're a tough man. Um, baked beans, because <laughs> Vicky farts a lot peanut butter some more of this stuff i love the cheese and broccoli one some jam because scarlet eats that a lot apparently and some marmite we originally had all of this in this little box but obviously that doesn't fit and now this almost seems too big but we will make it work um god how do people like make hamper things i'm just shoving it all in and it looks awful Okay, they got they got food. We're about to see Vicky's place for the first time. Yeah. Our ringer. 
Hello? What's happening? She's not picking up. Hey. Hello. Hello. Nice air. Yeah, Are you sure you want my socks in your flat? My smelly, smelly feet. Oh, it's very open space, isn't it? Oh, the light's up, okay. I thought it was sensitive then. Cacti. I like these tiles. I like those too. And mustard yellow theme. Very cute. Oh, I think people appreciate this. I don't understand the reference, but I think it's probably good. <laughs> ah, I won't film anything private. Cute. Nice. Ah. Another Harry Potter reference. I like the tall ceilings and they have a loft as well. Spongy carpet. It's spongy, is it? Hot. Oh! So they moved in yesterday and it's like already unpacked. It's quite impressive. What's the. I think it's open. Oh, it's probably for the vent, isn't it? The vent. Got red bowls, plates, a little kettle. Not kettle, what is that? Teapot. <laughs> Red kettle, toaster, lava lamp, living room. <laughs> Squatters. Hello. These came with the house. This is our clean. This is the cleaner. Decorator. The rat man. Oh. Whoa. Through the camera, it looks like um, a city or something. Mm. Lots of Harry Potter references. Yeah, I agree. I got her that stick. Ooh, and claws. Hello. Hiya. Hello there. Oh, I like this as well. Like, paid me like one of your French girls. These are two cupboards in here. Ah, nice, lots of storage, that's very important. And this that my mum and dad gifted them, which was originally put up in our house. How many years ago? Do you know? When when did you buy the That was when we first moved into our bungalow in nineteen eighty. Wow. So that is very old. <laughs> I like this big hall space. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Thank you for the visit. Come in time. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Lovely house, Vicky. You're such a grown up. Oh. Oh, that feels nice. Goodbye, honey. Well done. Mm -hmm. Lovely house. Lovely house. Lovely house. Big, do it. <laughs> oh, I should film you looking through the door, really. Uh, do that again, Dad. <laughs> 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 bye bye. Bye bye. Look, she's out there. <laughs> Romeo! <laughs> <laughs> See you tomorrow, Romeo. <laughs> We're gonna have a little peek at someone's house because it's all decorated up. Is that just a house, yeah? It's yes. not a business or something? No, it's just a house. Got my tinsel on. Look at it. <laughs> just this glow. Wow. <laughs> it's cool, isn't it? Wow, how come their door's open? Should we go inside? It might be a grotto. <laughs> Good day, everyone. Good day, everyone. <laughs> no, 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 no. It is just gone 2 a.m. I'm about to hit the hay. I've, got, I've had the video 
um, up for today for about half hour now so it was an early upload for me that doesn't sound early for most people but I've been uploading my vlogmas videos at like 3 a.m. recently anyway today was really lovely can't really remember how much I captured on film but it was really nice to see Vicky's new flat I'm really proud of her it was really nice really big and spacious like the kind of properties you get down here aren't usually like that and it's a really nice modern flat as well you don't feel like it's old or dingy or anything or anything it felt really fresh and new and white and crisp the carpets were all bouncy and spongy and I'm very proud of her and obviously that is what she has paid for I'm very very proud of her and I wish her many 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 years of love and happiness um, so yeah it was really nice quite emotional but a bit at the same time I was like oh she spread her wings and flown away I I'm excited to do the same with me although it did make me more nervous because I was like oh my god I'm feeling her like isolation from us all of a sudden because like I've always known her to live in this house for my entire life I'm trying to empathize with how she probably feels right now and then remembering that's going to be me soon but many many hundreds of miles up the country so I'm a bit like oh god but my dad keeps on saying to me he's like you can just come down wherever you want whenever you want if you get if you don't like up there you're not tied to anything and all this and that really helps because it, it makes me realize like yeah you're right I just need to stop panicking anyway I'm gonna go to bed now um, tomorrow is Christmas Eve, but I'm not going to be filming tomorrow to be edited and uploaded. Tomorrow is going to go in a one big juicy Christmas day vlog. I'm going to put, I usually do this, I usually put my Christmas Eve, my Christmas day and Boxing Day in one video and do a big Christmas nincompoop special. I've done that for like five years consecutively now, so I'm going to do it this year as well, so look forward to that. So I guess this means seeing you guys for Christmas tomorrow, so thank you very much for watching these vlogmases everyone. I really appreciate it. It. let me know in the comment section below whose vlogmases you really enjoyed this year not including mine although i hope you did enjoy mine i honestly i honestly haven't caught up with any vlogmases i haven't had the time to sit and watch a vlogmas every night but i love them i'm thinking of doing vida vlog every day april um because i feel like a lot of stuff a lot of cool stuff will be going on then and i think it'll be a good opportunity to film loads of bat shenanigans but yeah today's been an emotional day um, I'm so excited. We ordered all of that Chinese food and I am so pumped. So yeah, thank you very, very much for watching this video, guys. Join me on social media, such as Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and I also stream live on Twitch and you now. Oh, I also just um, sent out a Instagram story and a tweet letting everyone know that my tarot reading slots are open again. Um, I ha I was booked for a little bit in the beginning of December and then, no, no, at the end of November and then for December because I had Vlogmas I didn't really want to open any more slots up because I knew I was going to be so busy daily vlogging but I've opened slots up again because Vlogmas is practically over by the time I, I film all of the um, readings Vlogmas will, Vlogmas will be over so I'll have a couple uh, free days to sit down and do the readings so letting you guys know on here as well then if you are interested in receiving a reading from me I basically sit down and, and film me um, with my cards and I just sort of see what I can find for you and then I send you a 20 minute or a 50 minute reading. All you're going to do is email me down there, there is a little um, email address down there where it says like book a tarot reading with me. So I'm really excited to be doing some of that. Remember you don't have to have any specific questions or you don't have to have any specific topics that you want me to cover. I can just see what I find basically or if you have loads of questions we can do that as well. Just say I've got all these questions, answer them for me please. We can do that. So which whatever approach that you want to do, let me know. Anyway, love you guys. Night night. God bless. <laughs> oh, I thought that was a spider. <laughs> it was my hair. <laughs> Idiot. Night. <laughs>